All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to terminate um, LMR240 cable. i show you some of the stuff I use to do this. Um, all the way to your right, digital multimeter. Basically, we're going to use this at the end of the session, basically, to make sure we have no shorts in our connectors. Um, these here, a pair of LMR240 ratchet-type compression crimpers. Um, LMR240 strip tool for stripping your cable back. Um, LMR240 crimp connector, um, heat shrink, which we'll use to seal the connection on the connector, and center pair of cutters. Alright, basically we want to start, this is your LMR240, um, we always want to make sure we get a real clean cut on the end of that, um, no stray braid or anything, I'll go ahead and clip the end of that for you real quick just to see. Alright, next, basically we're going to take strippers, um, there's different types of strippers for this, um, basically insert your wire through, whatever the proper length is you want, just spin them, alright, once that's stripped, it'll actually show you what's inside the cable, okay? Basically, you've got your outer jacket, your UV protecting jacket. Next, you have your braid. I'm going to pull that down. All right. Inside your braid is your aluminum foil. And if you can see this, I'm not real sure, I'll kind of tilt it. In here, is, there's um, a white substance that surrounds your um, copper stinger, which is basically called your dielectric. And then, of course, the um, copper center conductor, also known as a stinger. All right. The type of connector we'll be using today. Basically, it's an LMR240-M connector. Um, top part of the connector, crimp sleeve, and then your copper pin. All right. What you want to make sure of, when you slide this copper pin on, is you make sure you test. This is actually going to seat inside this. So you may have to take something and push it out. You want to push it down. Um, I push that all the way down. It's almost touching. As you can see, the, the, the braid. If I was to press on that a little bit harder, you'd hear it click, which would push it firmly against the braid. And that's exactly um, how you want it to go. Um, so always, you may have to cut this and shorten it to make sure that that lines up properly. But you always want to make sure that this seats firmly against the braid here because that's actually your ground that's going to ground the outer jacket of this and your center conductor is going to be your um, all right um, so next basically what we're going to do is um, also you see in the connector this is the actual crimp sleeve this is a what they call heat shrink I use heat shrink just as added protection um, if you're actually out in the field or something this is going inside of a box uh, may not be necessary, but if it is handy, I would like to use it. Um, so basically, you're going to slide that on first. Next is going to come the actual silver trim ring. And I always peel my braid back first and then force this on. For a simple reason, it peels it back. makes it really smooth. Alright. So now that you have it like that, again, we're going to go back. Put the gold stinger on. You're then going to take your connector, slide it over the gold stinger, and press it down. And you can feel it click um, to know you got that seated real well. At that point, you'll basically take your braid, fold your braid back up the bottom of the connector all the way around. That's just going to ensure that we've got a really good ground. So, turn that sideways. See, all right. I'm gonna slide the metal ring up, making sure that's down real good. Next, we're gonna use our ratchet crimp connector. All right. Um, the crimpers we're using here are ordered offline. Um, just your standard ratchet crimpers. Make sure we get it ratcheted down really good. Alright, 
about the last click. You get ready to open these up if you've mashed them down. You see when I mash them, it's not really easy. You have to mash and flip this lever on this particular pair of crimpers, and it will actually release the crimper. Since I've crimped it so tight, you've actually got to work that out. What you want to make sure of is that you never double crimp. And what I mean by that is when you put the connector inside the tool, you always want it to be flush at the very top and crimp it. You never want to back down here and crimp it again because you actually crush the connector into the cable and it'll actually cause signal loss. All right, once that's crimped and you feel confident that it's not going anywhere, give it a good tug, make sure it's really secure. All right. Basically next I'm going to take and slide my heat shrink up and I'm sure most of you are familiar with heat shrink if you're not. It can be purchased at Radio Shack, purchased at Walmart. Um, basically you just take a standard big cigarette lighter, any cigarette lighter fire, heat source, and basically you're going to start heating it. And it's going to start to shrink. Hence the name heat shrink. Turn your connector over, do the other side of it. You actually see it starting to form a pretty tight bond against the cable. Um, not only does it keep water from getting inside of the ground portion of it, I mean, as you can see when you're done, also looks really neat. Be careful touching that because it's still a little warm. Um, basically, once we're done with this, if you had the other side crimped, and um, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to strip this in back on the end of our cable and show you how to test real quick for continuity to make sure you don't have any shorts. Empty those out. Alright. Sometimes when you strip back cable, that'll happen. There's still actually a ring there. You just take your pliers and pop it off. Basically what you want to test for is the outer part of this connector is actually your ground source and the inner part of this connector is actually your center positive, so actually negative and positive if you want to look at it that way. Taking a standard multimeter, set that to ohms tone. And I'll zoom in real quick and see if I can get you to see that real quick. Basically your ohms tone setting, and what that does is if you take the positive and negative lead of your, of your meter and touch them together, you get a tone. That basically is just continuity testing on a meter. And what that will tell me is, so basically if I take on the strip side of the cable without the connector on it, this is your ground source, this is your hot source, which are your positive. So you want to take and lay this against your braid. And then on the connector here, when I touch the outside of this connector, I should get a tone letting me know that I've got a good continuity going on there. What I shouldn't get is if I touch this center conductor, I shouldn't hear anything. If I do hear anything, that's, um, we will know at that point we do have a dead short. All right, touching the center copper conductor, same thing. Touch the center conductor. Want to make sure that we get a good constant tone on the center conductor, let us know we got a real good continuity. I um, also want to test the outside again just to make sure. Um, if that doesn't tone, you know you're good to go. If you were to touch the center copper stinger and touch the um, outside of this, which is your ground, and that did beat would mean you got an actual, would mean you actually do have a dead short. So, all right. That's basically how you terminate the LMR240 cable. Thanks.